CM365 all about Carnatic music. Recently, I had discussed about the Ragam Shubha Kuntrali in one of my episodes. One Rasika had asked me, what is the difference between this as against Panturali and Varali? Well, he is quite justified in asking this question in the sense that all of them have got a lot of similarity in them. In the sense that Varali, Shubha Kuntrali and Panturali differ only in their Gandhara. That is the Re, Ma, Pa, Da, Ni, Sa, all of them, they take the same variety. Whereas the Varali takes the Shuddha Gandhara, Shubha Pantarali takes the Sadharna Gandhara and Panturali takes the Antara Gandhara. So that is the only difference. So obviously because of this, there is a possibility that uh, Rasikas who are not technically well equipped may confuse one with the other. Now, in the case of Varali, it's like, Sagadi gama padanisa sani apa magadisa. We have done a separate episode on Varali also and Shubha Pantrali, which we did earlier, just a recap. Sari gama padanisa sani apa magadisa. Today we'll take up Panturali, which is actually a very, very common ragam and there are so many compositions by many Vagekaras also in this ragam. But uh, I thought I'll uh, explain it for the benefit of some Rasikas. While uh, here also it's important to know that Panturali as a ragam has been there from very ancient times and uh, even in the pun of the Tamil music we find a reference to this. This is the 51st Mela in the Melagartha scheme. And uh, it takes the note like Sari Gama Padanisa Sani Dapa Magarisa. Since it has the Antara Gandhara, the Gandhara is actually a, is a very bold note as far as this ragam is concerned, and it gives some kind of a brightness to the ragam itself. Like, now, this ragam in the Asampurna Mela Paddati of Muthu Swami Dikshidhar takes the name Kashi Ramakriya. Even if you search in the 72 Melagatta scheme, you will not find the Ragam Panturali. If you search for Panturali in the 72, you will not find that name because within the 72 Melagatta scheme of uh, uh, the Sankara Chodamani of Govindachari also, it mentions another name for it as Kamavardhini. So Kamavardhini, Panturali, Kashi Ramakriya are all the same as far as the scale is concerned. But uh, there is a slight difference, I would say, in the Dikshada school because of the fact that he created what we call as the Asampurna Mela Paddhati. So it takes a Vakra course, like where the Sangeeta Sampradaya Pradashri also determines or defines this uh, uh, through a sloga, like Kashi Ramakriya Raga Sampurna Sagra Hanvitaha Madhyana Kale Gata Vyo Ri Vakra Rogane Sada. So where he clearly defines a raga's name as Kashi Ramakriya and then he also gives the um, feature of this raga as Ri Vakra in the Arohana. So according to the Asampurna Mela Paddhati, it is not Sarigama Padanisa but Sagarigama Padanisa. That is how uh, Dikshadar defines it. But nevertheless over the period of time we see that uh, the popular version of the Sampurna character has only been taken by most composers like Tyagarajar or after that we see Papanasam Sivan, even um, Swati Tirnal and the other composers who have composed in this ragam have taken the root of Sarigama Padanisa Sanida Pamagarisa only as a, in a Sampurna Krama while composing their compositions. Now coming to the ragam as such, as I said it's a very old ragam and in the Tamil music it is mentioned as the Sadari Pan. And we also see that uh, it is uh, Murchana Karaka Raga, that is by modal shift of the Ri as the Sa here, we get the Ragam Kanakanta. 
Tyagaraja has given us uh, plenty of compositions, I would say, in this ragam. And uh, let us look at a few of them, like Raghubaranamoma or Shiva 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 Yenarada or Aparama Bhakti Gintu or Narada Muni Vedarina or Nine Neranam or the very popular composition Shambha Mahadeva Shankaragirija Ramana Shambha Mahadeva Shankaragirija Shambha Mahadeva Dikshadar has also composed a few compositions like Vishalakshim and also another popular one you would have heard Ramanatham Bajeham Or the popular composition of Sri Swati Tirnal Sarasaksha Paripalaya Babai Santatam Karunaya Jagadisha Sarasaksha Paripalaya Babai Santatam Karunaya Jagadisha and uh, traditionally also we see that in this uh, the compositions that we have the sancharas do not go beyond the gandharam that is the maximum they will touch the tara panchama or madhima is not touched in any of the composition and that also defines the lakshana of the ragam in terms of its limitation uh, of being uh, you know the maximum the range could be reached is the uh, tarastai gandhara but of course in the uh, Raga Lapana or when we do the Kalpana Swaram, we uh, generally do not confine to this, I would say, and we go beyond this to the Tarastai, Madhyama, Panchama and so on. Now coming to an earlier composition by Bhadrachala Ramdas, we see Yenna Ganura Bhajana or uh, coming to Papanasam Shivan Ninna Ninna Yam Balago O Deva Deva Ninna Rulli Yam Balago So this is almost uh, very similarly on the mold of the Tyagaraja composition Ninne Neranam Minanur And the tune also goes quite similarly so where uh, a Tamil version of the same melody we can find in this composition of Papanasam Siva. As I also mentioned that uh, this is a very ancient ragam, we find a reference to it in the Tevaram also. Uh, for example, in the Tevaram, Like this we see that Panturali is a very very popular ragam and even in concerts we see that if it is sung towards the beginning of the concert that is after two three items if an elaborate uh, alapana nervaswaram is done to this particular ragam it gives kind of a bright kind of a feeling. Uh, to the whole concerts itself, the ambience is set in a bright mood. And for children also we see that ragam like Purvi Kalani, this Pantu Rali, these are the Pratimadiva ragas that we actually teach them. Uh, in terms for, uh, for the concert presentation also we see that this uh, is quite in fact uh, easy for them to even handle it. So that way we see that Pantu Rali as a ragam is uh, quite popular. 
and also because of the multiple number of compositions that are available in this ragam, we get to see many dimensions of it as well. CM 365, all about Carnatic music.